Although Graham Parsons, music legend and country rock pioneer, is inexplicably missing from the Country Music Hall of Fame, one large piece of his personality can be found there. Sin City, the iconic nudie suit he sported on the cover of the Flying Burrito Brothers debut album. In this video, we're going to tell you a little bit about the suit's designer, Nudie Cohn, his masterpiece, and his many other works. As an aside, we couldn't put Nudie's name in the video title for fear that YouTube censors would ban the entire video. Nudie Cohn, known as the Rodeo Taylor, immigrated to America from Kiev in 1913. By the early 1940s, Cohn was in Hollywood, where he convinced rising country singer Tex Williams to buy him a sewing machine. He repaid the favor with a sequined suit. Nudie hit the big time when Roy Rogers wore one of his suits at a show in Madison Square Garden. From there, he would go on to dress some of country and later rock music's most famous artists. Here are some of Nudie's most outstanding works. Hank Williams, one of the first Country Music Hall of Fame inductees, is best remembered for his abundant musical gifts as both a songwriter and a singer. Hey, hey. He's also known for the beautiful, cream-colored nudie suit he sported. It, too, hangs in the Country Music Hall of Fame. The suit features blue musical notes in eye-catching relief, while the back shoulder includes a guitar. Williams and Nudie formed a close bond that lasted until Williams' tragic death at 29. In 1957, Nudie designed his most expensive suit ever for one of America's most enduring icons, Elvis Presley. Presley sported the suit, made of gold lame and costing an estimated $85,000 in today's money on the album cover of 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong. You can go visit that suit at Graceland. One of those 50 million fans was undoubtedly Graham Parsons, who's been described as George Jones in a sequined suit. Parsons, who saw Elvis in concert when he was just nine years old, developed a love for the country stylings of Hank Williams and Merle Haggard while in college at Harvard University. Parsons left college and headed to LA to change music history. After a short stint with the Birds, Parsons and former Bird, Chris Hillman, formed the Flying Burrito Brothers. And I think that it's been For the band's debut album cover, Parsons met with Nudie, who had become like a father to the charismatic musician, and commissioned his dream suit and Nudie's masterpiece. Nicknamed Sin City, the white twill suit represents Parsons' biggest loves, music, women, and sadly, drugs. Parsons wore his Nudie suit so well that rock legends such as Keith Richards began to flock to Nudie's LA store. From the 1950s until today, too many artists to count have donned a nudie suit, but none have become as entwined with the label as the man who wore it best, Graham Parsons. If you have a different favorite, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe. Also, tap the bell to be notified of new videos.